sense, connecting sight, sound and life. Monopaint Workshop with Sense Arts by Faye Kilburn. Hello and welcome to today's Inclusive Arts Workshop. My name is Faye Kilburn and today we'll be making monoprints. Um, Sense is committed to making all their workshops as inclusive as possible. So today we will have a BSL interpreter and we will have captioning at the bottom of the screen and I will all be auto describing everything. Um, I'm a tall white bee now. I'm wearing a black top and behind me is a white wall with black and white prints on it. Um, I'm sitting at a desk and the materials we'll be using today um, are um, inks or printing inks or acrylic paint. You will need a roller and something flat to roll your inks out on. I'm using Perspex, but you can use a painting palette, so anything flat that will contain your inks. You'll need pencils or pens and a variety of papers. So I have with me tissue papers, different colours. I've got blue and orange, but you can use any colour. And I've got white photocopying paper and I've got some scrap paper as well. And the other things you will need are a pair of scissors if you want to cut up things or I often just tear things up with my hands. Paint brush is quite handy to have and some scrap materials. I've got a box here and in it, it things like scrap tin foil, old sponges, any clean recycled materials basically. I've got kitchen wrap, string, ribbon, all sorts of different things, anything you fancy using. Um, but it's, because it's autumn, there's lots of leaves in people's gardens. So I've been collecting leaves from my garden because I like that's what I like using. So have a little explore and see what you can find. It's anything that's clean and that's not sharp is great for making monoprints. So first of all, Choose your colour ink, I'm going to use black. Make sure the lid is on, give it a shake. So I'm just shaking it down and then take the lid off and go to the top left hand corner and squeeze gently until you reach the right hand corner and then put the lid back on. If you prefer working from right to left, that's fine as well. But because I'm right handed, I always work from left to right. And get your bowl up and roll the ink from the top all the way down. The other thing I would say is if you're messy like me when you make art, I would wear an apron or just wear something old that you don't mind getting ink on because printmaking is a messy project. Isn't it? This Take a little bit of time while the ink out, but I like this bit, it's fun. So just keep going from bottom, go from bottom, top to bottom, and sideways until the ink or your paint is completely all rolled out. You don't actually need that much ink. You'd be surprised at how little ink you actually use. And if you do put out too much ink, just scrape your excess ink up and put it in a jar so you can reuse it. If you find it easier to stand up and roll out your ink, that's fine as well. You just do it however you feel. It's right for you. That's the great thing about art. Art is you do what it's for all unique individuals and art is for expressing ourselves. So Mine is really rolled out. <laughs> um, so put the roller down, and now we get to use our recycled materials. So I've got here tin foil, one of the sander, and a fine field. 
So because see, you can either cut with scissors if you want really precise shapes. If you're using scissors, just obviously be careful of shop items. Be careful with yourself and other people around you. But I often just like to rip things because I like the unique shapes they make. So I'm placing my torn tin foil shapes directly onto my ink surface. And I've also got, this is kitchen roll, and it's got lots of little bumps on it, lots of little, like hundreds and hundreds of tiny dots. So I thought they might be quite nice to, all these raised dots might make a nice print. So we'll see if that works. So I'm, again, just ripping different shapes and then I'm now laying those shapes, the long narrow shapes with the tissue, the kitchen roll, placing them on my ink palette. I have recycled cling film, which is a good way of recycling it, this horrible material. Um, it's not good for the environment. You can make nice shapes in your print with it. We've got the sponge. Now sponges, I, these are just old sponges that have been, they're now clean because I've washed them, I've cut them into the tiny sponges and they've got the rough side on one side and they're squidgy on the other. And with the rough side, I'm placing them on the ink and I'm turning my wrist. And what this does is it makes a circle mark in the ink. So it's taking some of the ink away and making the pattern a circular pattern and then you can try this with a paintbrush to see what marks you get so let's have a look okay see if you get yeah lots of straight lines with the paintbrush and that's the thing about monoprinting it's just about experimenting having a look around see what you have and just have fun there's there isn't really any rights and wrongs it's just about making a unique print and I've also got a leaf so this is a fresh leaf of my plant and this is a dried leaf so we'll try them both and see how they turn out so there's my fresh leaf and that's my dried leaf and then the other thing I've got is this is just shredded paper so it's very thin, thin pieces. So we'll see, and they, because they're so thin, they won't coil up into little circles. So we'll see what they, how they turn out on my print. And we also have, what else do we have in my little box? We have lace. When the lace has got lots of little flowers on it, so it's very frilly. So we'll place that on there and see how this prints. Okay, getting a piece of paper, place your paper on top of your printing palette, press down. Now, if you have a spare roller, you can press on the back of your paper, go from the bottom to the top, bottom to top, all the way along until you've covered the back of your piece of paper. If not, make your fist, use the bottom of your fist, Press down firmly, going from the bottom to the top, bottom to top, all the way along. And you can also go sideways if you want. So from left to right, or right to left. Or you can use the whole palm of your hand. Then I'm lifting the paper up to reveal the print. Wow, there are some exciting marks on this piece of paper. So the background is black and we've got, with the sponge, it's made big circular swirls with white circular lines. The paintbrush has made long white stripy lines and the lace has made a big white mark as has the kitchen roll, the 
what have we got? The clean fill has made one huge mark. So you've got big variation in marks there. So if I put that down, what you can do now is I'm lifting up the cling film, which has picked up lots of ink, and I'm flipping it over and placing it somewhere else, and you want the inky side facing you. And it doesn't matter, like that piece just split. It doesn't matter, it rips. Don't be too precious. It's just about having fun. Oh, look at that, like the pack. That's my, the tin foil, it's, the ink is all speckled and made a really beautiful pattern on the back of the tin foil. And the scraps of thin card picked up the ink really nicely. A little bit tricky to flip over, but it's okay. Now you don't have to turn over everything. You can make a choice of where you place it, how many things you turn over. Oh, let's see how the kitchen roll. Ooh, the kitchen rolls picked up a lot of ink. Look at that. And you can see, can you, I don't know if you can see that, see all the little dots. And place that there. Let's see how this lace. Now the lace has barely picked up any ink at all. So that didn't work very well. Now we've got our fresh leaf. Oh, nice, the fresh leaf has picked up lots of ink because it's it's soft and it's absorbent. And that's our old leaf. So let's see how they fared. It's picked up surprisingly quite a lot of ink, the old leaf. It'd be nice to see how they work. So you can, now that I've turned over all of those, this was the leaf originally, this space here, this big white space. Let's, I'm going to, you can either put a brand new piece of paper down or you can place your old piece of paper onto your printing palette. And once again, if you have a roller, roll on the back of the print. Go from left to right, or right to left. Okay. From the bottom to the top. Or make your fist and go from the bottom, pushing to the top. Or with the palm and go all the way across the back of your paper. Then reveal your print. Ooh, it's become a collage. And that, here we go. So you can, my, on my print, because we flipped a lot of the materials around, the, the ink has, the inky items have stuck themselves to the print. You can either keep them like that, or have a collage, print collage, or you can do this and you can just gently peel them away. So I'm going to gently peel some of them away so you can see that when you have lots of, when you double print like that, it becomes quite three-dimensional your print because you get lots of layers. And you can just keep doing this. You can keep continuously layering. Oh, and there's our leaf. Should we see how our leaf did? Oh, look at that. Our leaf did really well. So that is all the layers of our print. So there is our leaf there. And it's got all the veins on the back of the leaf. The stripes from the swirl and the swirls from the sponge and the brush have come out really strong. And the stripes and the creases from the cling film also have, have made beautiful patterns. So today, the different types of printing that we've made are a print by inking up our palette again and laying lots of textured materials on top of the ink and then we reverse those up. We flipped all those materials back around so we got our inky side up and we overprinted and that got us that. 
Picking up after this workshop, you can either use baby wipes, but if you want to be more environmentally friendly, then you can use just good old fashioned soap and water washing up liquid because all the inks are water based. So that's really easy to clean up after this project. Thank you very much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure sharing more new printing with you. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you continue to experiment. Have fun. Sense. No one left out of life. Website sense.org.uk